Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today I've got something truly special in front of me and something that I didn't expect to turn out like this at all. So welcome everybody to episode 5 of The Domain Versus, my very exciting like 1v1 diorama series, but it's hard to call this a versus episode. I'm going to because I, I love the name, I want to keep the series up, but this is definitely not 1v1 at all. I just went crazy with this in the end, and I'll tell you why. This was going to be a simple Master Chief versus Juggernaut standoff with Sergeant Johnson as a casualty in the background, but then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna build this anyway why don't I do a live stream? So I fired up my camera, I just did a very, very basic iPhone live stream, and you guys helped me build it. And you guys had a lot of great ideas and wanted me to just keep on going. So what started as a simple idea very quickly turned into this complex thing that you see in front of you. So this diorama is based on the last mission of Halo 3. The iconic sort of last stand against the flood. You're racing through the snowy biome to try and activate the ring. And it's just such a wonderful ending to the trilogy, such a climactic ending and so epic that I wanted to bring it to life today. So the Chief and the Arbiter to crash land their pelican and they're fighting up that sort of long column like stairwell it's it's like floor by floor you've got to work up to the control room and i wanted to do the ground floor so we've got all this snow and this is sort of leveled up and mounded in big chunks i go into full detail about how i make it i mean you can watch me make it piece by piece in the live stream so i'd recommend you watching that we'll start off you know we'll go figure by figure why not so first of all we've got that halo hero series 5 master chief just such an iconic figure, absolutely beautiful. He comes with this flamethrower which is brought to life in the most epic way and he's accompanied by his Series 5 Johnson counterpart. That is Johnson from Series 5 with his Spartan laser, but I gave him an extra really cool Magnum. And then the other figures are even more interesting. First, we've got this Flood here. Now, you can tell that this is a Flood that is, it's a bit of an abomination of many different figures. First of all, I took the Halo 3 Marine body. You know, it had to be Halo 3 here. I gave it the old school Halo Mega Blocks Flood head. And it's the perfect color, maybe from Series 5 blind bags, I'm not sure. So that is a brought to life Halo 3 Flood Marine. And then we've got one more flood, which is even more crazy, this Brute. Now this Brute is brought to life from the Halo 3 New Dawn blind bag Brute. And then again, the Halo 4 blind bag flood. And then we've got this top bit, which I'm guessing most of you will recognize. It's the flood piece that comes with Halo Heroes Captain Keys. So I thought that was a really interesting addition to it. It's really fun. And like, I haven't tried popping and swapping that onto many other things. I know it needs more of a backwash to it, but I think this is such a cool little, just a a quick flood custom and you can still see that monkey head poking out on the top as well now halo hero series 5 arbiter still eludes me if you have it hit me up but this is the one from the warthog run with the master chief this arbiter is still awesome nice gold plating and then i gave him all of the halo 2 weapons that the arbiter has from the master chief versus arbiter battle pack so i thought they were all great to give him especially that crackling blue energy sword yeah that's all the figures apart from the huge flood and then we've got these two little floods on the side as well. Two different colors, one from the Kinsano Cyclops and one from Clash on the Ring blind bags. So where to even begin with this diorama? Because there are so many levels to it. And that's what I really like to do with these dioramas or any. I like to create very varied levels. So anytime you look at a different camera angle, there is always something new to see. Like we haven't even talked about Guilty Spark hanging out there yet. So there is so much going on. And I know there's some inconsistencies like yes, you couldn't drive a mongoose this part of the mission. Though I guess you could after Johnson dies, so that's one thing. But yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. I love representations of any in-game cutscenes or levels, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more like this in the future. I'd love to hear your suggestions. So the snow biome, I layered really slowly, just carefully, using all the pieces to my advantage, because I don't have that many pieces in Hong Kong. That's the funny thing. Like, this was done pretty much with, like, bare necessities. Like, this was pretty much made with all the pieces I had, so I'm really impressed with, like, how much I could 
spin everything out. That structure itself is a little bit fragile, but I actually secured it in a really nice way, and I think it's also great when I can use studs so the figures aren't just held on by blue tack. It's much nicer if they can be fastened on properly using blocks. So the Arbiter is already making good progress up the tower, but the Chief had to go back for Johnson, who fell against this mongoose as a flood tank form is about to take him out. But luckily, the Chief's coming in with a flamethrower, you know, I wouldn't be too worried if I was... Well, maybe I would be. He's <laughs> that flood tank is pretty much in his face. But the Master Chief as well, I love that flamethrower. It adds so much of a, like, higher dimension to a diorama when you can have that flame, like, ripping out of the weapon. It's just so cool. And the Master Chief, he was originally looking at the flood tank form, but his attention has now been brought to this Marine. And you can see one hand has already moved away from the flamethrower as he's going to go for his assault rifle. So it's an ever-changing environment, ever-changing situation. Yeah, we're going to take it apart a little bit so I can show you the inner workings of this diorama, then put it all back together again. All right, so here we are, the bare bones. First of all, this guilty spark, I always like to try and find some easy place to insert a rod. In this case, it was the top of the mongoose. And yeah, the mongoose is also a great feature. What I wanted was, because this is all snow, I wanted the mongoose to have screeched to the side, slammed into a rock, and then grounded itself. And I wanted all these mounds of snow to sort of represent kicked up snow. They've sort of all been piled at different levels. And that also invites this body to sort of just easily slot in there. And then I wanted just a wheel, I tacked that to the side. And I also wanted to make sure it was mostly snow and mostly sort of ground and dirt. I layered two dirt base plates of different colors on the top of the green. This was originally like a big green base plate, but that doesn't matter. Like it could be freshly fallen snow, especially with the biome changing all the time from the halo array being like constructed. Could have been new fallen snow on top of grass. So that's what I went with. And I wanted the mongoose to have sort of kicked up even the grass level and left some bare dirt under Neat. Now, this is what I'm most impressed with in the diorama. Like, this seems pretty simple, but it's actually quite complex, in my opinion. First of all, I've got this little stud here. Now, I wanted the perfect way to insert this, and you can see that inserts in there and literally just levitates it in a very forerunner-looking display. Like, it even looks like it's got some forerunner sort of levitation going on there. And then I locked it all off at the bottom, smoothed it off with all these tiles and a grid, like sort of some ventilation and then these sort of tiles run all around because let's not forget this is a you know this is an alien made structure it's not organic so I'm having all of these different silver pieces running pretty much everywhere I really enjoy this this is a sort of rod and means I can position him anywhere so if I clip this on the bottom have it angled all the way around mainly I wanted him being able to just crawl at a full angle like that's what the flood do they can crawl anywhere so that's what I got going on that's the base plate if you want to learn more, watch the full live stream. It's only an hour long and I go into full detail about all of the inner workings of this. I then had black smoothed off pieces, wanted to keep it flat, adds another level of grating, and then later on I added these so I could suspend my figures with ease. The first one I was worried about was Johnson because I wanted him slumped up against that mongoose. Then I was concerned with who Johnson was shooting at, this flood tank. Next, who's protecting Johnson? Who's the chief fighting? This random flood infection form. Just fleshing out the diorama as much as possible. And then why not? We'll have someone fight in that brute. It's gotta be the Arbiter. Guilty Spark seems super appropriate. I mean, during these levels, he's basically floating around everywhere. Couple more flood and we are done. That's our diorama, guys. Could not be happier with it. Honestly, like, this is so cool. Friends, this is episode five of our Domain Versus series. Mega Constructs Versus is gonna be my main staple of my channel. I love this so much. And we're just getting started, believe me. So if you're hungry for more, you can check out the links in the description below for episode one to four. Sergeant Forge against the Arbiter. We've got the Master Chief against a Halo Heroes Brute Chieftain. Lasky versus a Promethean Knight. And to top it off, Carter from noble team against a whole platoon of banished. So you won't want to miss those out and if you want to get involved yourself we are doing a diorama competition on our discord right now. It's to celebrate a thousand members though since announcing this competition we're already on 1300 members so that's crazy. And you can win a sealed pelican inbound guys. Sealed pelican inbound just for taking part. Create a 1v1 diorama and do remember that this one I'm showing you right now is not a 1v1 diorama. I just got excited and I want to show you good 
content on YouTube. But if you want to enter our 1v1 diorama competition, all the full rules are on our Discord. Good luck to all that enter. There's about two weeks left until entries are closed, and you better believe I'm going to have a lot more diorama videos out before then. This was another video with The Domain. Please do let me know what diorama you want to see next. I'm taking suggestions all the time. I want to build what you want. Thanks so much for the support on the channel. We're about to hit 31k, which is super exciting. Stay awesome out there. Stay safe. Have a great day. And the diorama is signing off.